do you like that new intro music? I'm very humbled to say that uh, a friend uh, John Spires, who's uh, also making and growing uh, his own snooze. Uh, I looked at his snooze in one of my specials. He's a musician as well. now made the music for the channel so he was given sort of free reigns to come up with something that uh, he thought was suitable and I get like a Cajun southern state vibe to it earthy uh, very snooze compatible so I hope you like it uh, also uh, since before we've had uh, the the logo is still the same uh, made by a uh, friend Fredrik Wieg uh, but now he's sort of layered it so I get all the different layers I can play with uh, in the editing program. So I kind of changed the intro around as well. So I hope you like the new intro with the new theme music, both intro and outro. So today uh, I'm very excited about uh, trying and reviewing General Classic Portion Extra Strong. And uh, this is one that, of course, I have tried this before, and I can tell you, you're in for a treat. Um, it's, uh, I've tried the uh, Strong Loose already, which I really like, thought that was really leathery. I have tried the original Portion, which is also very decent. I also tried the Normal Loose, which I prefer to the original Portion. Right, and then I have tried the G3 Extra Strong, the Slim one. And that is uh, even stronger than this one, but this is no lightweight at all. And it's actually, I believe, probably the, the biggest portions of any general snooze. We are looking at almost as big as the Granit Maxad, actually. Uh, so here you get 1.1 uh, gram portions. And uh, the nicotine then comes up to 15.4 milligrams per portion. So that's almost as strong as the G3, really and you'd get 20 portions in it. So in total, you actually get slightly less content in the can than with the uh, general classic portion. Uh, I really like the can, I think it's really classy and cool. Uh, it'll be also interesting here to compare it to the loose, which I liked, and the G3 Strong, because the G3 I thought was lacking quite a lot in taste. I thought it was quite uh, muted and mellow while the loose uh, is uh, no lightweight in taste at all. Uh, and uh, as always, when it comes to the general, a uh, quick history lesson is that uh, Johan A. Buman, or A. Buman, uh, he uh, uh, made this news in 1866 after having worked on it for four years. Uh, and he combined 22 uh, different tobaccos uh, and a little drop of bergamot oil in there. And he's uh, famously said that uh, I wish I could appreciate second best, but I just don't find any joy in it. So he was a perfectionist and he really wanted it, his own snooze to be exactly as he wanted it. And back then they used uh, all lamina as well, which I doubt they use for this. They use it in their general cards once a year, but not probably in these normal products anymore. Uh, we have got a, a large catch lid in this one. As I said, I think it's a very solid looking can. Shall we get into it? We get original portions, no slim factor, and uh, yeah, looking pretty plump there. Put one in. Come, you know, a little bit. That was quite a funny one. Uh, kind of good moisture in there, I would say. Good feel. Ah, it's uh, even stronger, I would say, than the uh, normal, the general uh, original portion. It does have that leathery tone that you also get in the uh, uh, loose version. Uh, this smells so much more than the G3. So if you if you want to you like the bergamot uh, taste, but you still uh, want the strength of it, and you're not a loose snoozer, this could probably be a good start. But I will tell you more about it in, of course, the second part of this review. And I'm sorry, I'm not in Dubai anymore. I can you know can't play with all those 
nice backgrounds. This is a bit more static with this uh, very static uh, canvas here. I do like it, but I uh, can't play around with it that much. But uh, we'll still get that in the second part of the review. See you very soon. I'm finishing this really great can of snooze here. Uh, back in uh, 1866, when uh, Bowman created the loose uh, version of General, the first one, I don't think he was referring to a general as uh, a military ranking, actually. It's actually meaning just a general snooze, I think, which is a bit weird. But uh, when I made my intro here, I didn't want to make a general intro. I wanted to make a general intro. Um, it's a big portion uh, in the upper lip, that's for sure. But for me, it's not a big problem. Uh, it just uh, sits really well there. It's got a really nice, good moisture level to it. Uh, it does drip a little bit, just like the classic uh, normal strength uh, version. Uh, so whether you like that or not really, for me, that's good. Uh, the strength, uh, if you're new to snooze, uh, maybe, maybe watch out a little bit for this one, because it does have an elevated um, strength to it. Uh, for me, that's uh, good. I, I like the strength of this one, adds to the robustness of it. Uh, it's a long-lasting taste, uh, no problem there. And it is a robust taste, and that's uh, what I want to get to here, because um, bergamot is its a type of orange that tastes... Well, it's, it's an unedible fruit, really, but in the snooze, it's, uh, normally, uh, it's normally a little bit bitter. It can have a bitterness to it, there's a herbal side to it, but then potentially you get the orange as well. And that bitterness uh, comes through a lot in Nox, for instance, and also in the classic... Uh, general classic and that's why uh, general and uh, bergamot snoozes have not really been my favorite I like a robust snooze uh, so in the original portion the, the classic normal strength version you get bergamot which is a little bit bitter then if you go over to the loose side uh, it switches over so you get uh, more of the tobacco with bergamot in the background if you keep on the loose side but go over to the strong loose it's more robust in the tobacco taste and there you do get like a leathery tone with a little bit of bergamot as well or quite, quite a lot of bergamot but it's it's leathery uh, then on the g3 uh, it's generally all very muted all the flavors so to me it doesn't have that same oomph as uh, the other ones but here i get that orange tone coming through uh, more than in any other uh, bergamot snooze I've had. Uh, it makes it rounder. Uh, it's a robust tobacco uh, flavor in there as well. And the bergamot is there, but it's, it's more integrated and a little bit more in the background. So it's not that bitter. Uh, and I also get uh, licorice with this one. Uh, licorice is naturally sweet. So it, it brings a sweetness to it. So it's a roundness. Uh, sweetness and well integrated bergamot I mainly get that orange tone I actually picked that up the first time I ever tried it and then a bit later I picked up on the licorice so it's a well integrated robust uh, tobacco taste with bergamot with an orange uh, note to it for sure so it's one that I really like and I think that uh, if uh, Bowman uh, was still around nowadays he would uh, be uh, quite uh, proud of this one Oh, hello, there you are. Okay, well, don't worry, I really like this snooze. Whoa, stuff happening around here. So, uh, I would like to say, first of all, uh, thank you very much to Snooze24, uh, my sponsor. You can pick this one up. Uh, if you're outside of the EU, you can pick it up from them. If you're in Sweden, uh, you can pick it up in your local store. It's readily available. Or also, uh, Swedish Match has now started uh, their own... Uh, web store online so you should be able to pick it up from there um, so rating wise I love this news it's my new favorite robust uh, bergamot flavor snooze it's probably still my second favorite general because I really really like onyx but that's very different it's very elegant it has like a lemon curd flavor to it and that's also very good but for the robust traditional bergamot this is the one for me I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. 5 out of 5 for this one. Love this snooze. So how about that? Uh, also, uh, once again, thank you very much uh, to John 
and Frederick. I really love both the uh, music and the logo. So thank you very much, guys. Uh, so please subscribe to the channel if you like it. Uh, and also give a little like to the video if you, if you like the individual videos. Um, and I will see you in the next one. And Bowman, I think that uh, there is a new uh, general invention coming up that I will review very soon. So see you for that one. Thanks, guys.